nice day today, so I thought I'd get out to the greenhouse and kind of clean up. And I uh, thought I'd show you some of the components that I had built in the past for uh, as part of my system. This particular piece right here is a part of Baroponics. was created by Travis Huey. Uh, it's his design. Uh, all the parts come from Lowe's, except for the 55-gallon drum that you see. I'll explain a little bit about how it works. Um, one modification, which is mine, is this piece right here. This is actually a beef jerky container. I bought it as a sample through a plastics company. Um, the block, all these components here, and as you get inside, everything here came from Lowe's. On Travis's site, he has all the numbers and all the parts. It's all laid out for you. What happens is the water comes into the barrel, and when it gets up to a certain point, it starts to go up this tube, comes through here, and then on the other side, <coughs> it comes out here, down to this container. The container has a hole on the bottom of it, you can see right there. <coughs> starts to drain out there. As this container fills up, it gets heavier and heavier and it continues to lower and lower and then that's what happens as it's doing this this container gets lighter and lighter and it releases it'll keep on coming out until it gets down to a certain point when you get down here you see there's washers these washers act as a weight they help pull, closes it up, starts filling up again. When it gets to a certain point, you can raise those washers. It opens up, releases the water. Kind of a sequencing timer. And you control it by how much weight you have on it. Now a couple of the variables is the weight helps to close that flap. If not, that flap will stay open forever, kind of like what it's doing there. There you go, finally closed on its own. So you have to play around with the weights and with the positioning. Uh, you have to make sure that it doesn't get snagged underneath the flap. This is basically just a flush valve out of the back of a toilet is what it is. Uh, very easy to put together. These are for, for a screen door. Travis has the part numbers for that. Really uh, interesting component. Um, I'm going to use it on my system. Uh, I'm going to build a new one. I'm going to use an entire 55 gallon drum for it. Over here, this is the frame for an IBC container. I'll show you here a little bit later. But that's the frame. Kind of let you get a look at it. For anybody that's not familiar, it's an IBC container. It's a bulk container. This component here, this is a shower base. And I've kind of tinkered with it a bit. You can see uh, how it would be useful in an aquaponics or hydroponics system. Um, I'm talking about using maybe like for a propagation bed to get seedlings started. Over here, these components are all used for, in aquaponics. Once again, this is Travis Huey's design. Um, I really haven't modified anything on these. They're once again 55 gallon drums. This one here, I need to get the inside of it hosed off. They spent the winter in the greenhouse. Uh, basically, you cut them in half. Huey has the layout for it. And this one I've put a PVC component there. I'm probably going to change it to a bulkhead fitting. Um, you can see on here the way I've got that set up slip fitting screws together on both sides makes a nice uh, grow bed. Huey shows you how to make the wood bases and everything. This one here is a 55 gallon drum that 
slit is put in this top of it and what this one is used for is a fish tank I have three of them that I've built and uh, been using uh, I'm going to switch bulkhead fittings down here on this one I modified a little bit and that can be a return you can see how you would hook it up on the other side an electrical component right here to hold it in place I believe that was Yui's design also uh, I've done very little to modify these I had talked about one of the other videos about these five gallon jerrycans that I had talking about using them in the fashion of a a Dutch bucket um, this is the containers that I was talking about. Basically, it's a five gallon container. I'm sure you've seen them before. And what I have found that I can do is to put a nipple on the small and a nipple in the middle right here. This piece here is threaded. Um, you can see right here how there's threads on the inside and just punch it out and what I'm looking to probably do is to use that as a uh, probably use that as a Dutch bucket and I'm going to try and do peppers and probably tomatoes in that um, I think that would probably be a pretty good design stability is really pretty good with it it's not going to tip over uh, I can have the water come in one end and go out the other uh, I can link them together uh, a bunch of different options so that's the plans for this I've got two more components I want to show uh, this one here is part of barrel ponics once again it was a white drum cut it in half but what I really want to show is the bulkhead connectors it makes a really good connection it doesn't leak here's the inside portion I know I told some folks about these. Um, I'm really pleased with them. They're a little bit more expensive than a grommet, but I really think it's well worth the investment. This is the last component that I was wanting to show you. It's the actual tank to the IBC container. It holds 275 gallons. On the top, you'll notice the uh, screw-on lid. What I'm probably going to do is to take a portion out in front of the lid. There's a raised section here. And I'm probably going to remove a portion of it right there. That way, access to feed the fish and for lines to go in and out. Um, there is a drain on the bottom down here. So I can drain the tank. Uh, I can run an outbound line through there. A lot of different options. Here in the Cincinnati area, you can find them on Craigslist. They run anywhere from $40, which is what I paid for this one, right on up to about $95 is the most I've seen for them. Uh, one thing you have to be careful is what was in them. I know I saw one that was carrying sealant sometimes you'll have people that want to use them for uh, oil uh, some people want to make uh, ethanol gas I believe it is and um, so you have to be careful what was in it make sure it was something was food grade otherwise you're going to kill your fish and you're going to contaminate any kind of plants or any kind of food so be very careful of what uh, what your what's been in it